This is Michael Popak, Legal AF, with breaking news. The $2.7 billion defamation case brought by Smartmatic voting machines against Fox News, Maria Bartiromo, Rudy Giuliani, Janine Pirro, Lou Dobbs, and the rest is not going anywhere and is going to trial. So says an intermediary appellate court, the Appellate Division First Department in New York, a state appellate court, not the highest court in New York, but the one right below it. And they have rejected the appeal of Fox News. Now, you may not remember this one, Smartmatic, because so much attention has been placed on Dominion voting systems and their $1.6 billion similar case down in Delaware Superior Court against Fox News and some of these same people like Pirro and Hannity, Tucker Carlson and the like. They are similar in that both these companies um, supplied voting machines and, and election technology to municipalities um, local government for the federal election. In Smartmatic's case, a very small company in Florida that really had one customer for its equipment, and that customer was Los Angeles County, a supremely democratic place. I mean, there's no way Trump ever would have won LA County, and that's all Smartmatic did at that time. They weren't a big company. Dominion Voting Systems, much, much bigger of a company. And for some reason, and we know why, ratings, grifting for fundraising, the combination working together of the Trump organization, Donald Trump, and the on-air personalities and Fox News as the platform, um, pumped out all of this defamatory information lies that Smartmatic's machines were somehow corrupt, the software was corrupt, and Trump votes were being turned into Biden votes. All false. And done, according to the Smartmatic lawsuit filed two years ago in February of 2021 in New York State Supreme Court before Justice David Cohen. All of that was done with what's called actual malice, according to the complaint, meaning reckless disregard for whether the thing on the air that's being said is true or false, or a knowledge that it's false. And if a media company does something with actual malice, it destroys the First Amendment protection completely. Now, Fox News' defense, no surprise here, is we're just reporting. We're just reporting. When, when What are we to do when the sitting president is making claims of election fraud and his lawyers are coming on our show? talking about election fraud. But the New York uh, 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 Supreme Court, where the trial court level is being held, um, and the appellate division, which is the appeals court, the five-judge appeals court that ruled today, was having none of it. In the order of the appellate division today, the court said that based on the allegations in the complaint, the Fox News on-air people, their commentators, their talk show host, uh, endorsed and participated in the defamation with reckless disregard for whether it was true or false, which means actual malice. And that means, line them up, we're going to trial. So the effort by Fox News on a motion to dismiss, which was denied by uh, Justice David Cohen at the trial court level, what New York calls the Supreme Court level, just to be confusing, was upheld by the appellate division, which is the rung right below the highest court in New York State, which is called the Court of Appeals, just to be more confusing. Most states, it's called the Supreme Court. New York, it's called the Court of Appeals. So we're not at the Court of Appeals yet, but at the rate we're going with this well-written opinion, it is likely that the New York Court of Appeals, which also leans progressive, is going to find that the Fox News suit and all the other people like Giuliani and Pirro, Lou Dobbs and Bartiromo are staying in this suit for $2.7 billion. Now, where the money comes from, where the math comes from to calculate $2.7 billion, that I don't know yet enough to evaluate. And Smartmatic is going to have the burden of proving to a jury, now they get to get to a jury, that they have suffered that level of damage given they were a relatively small company in Florida with one client. But I'm sure they had projections for how well they were going to do off the 20 
uh, 20 election and for 2022 and 2024 and the midterms and all of that. And so I'm sure they're going to have an economist um, uh, get on the stand as an expert and and a, a person who's um, got experience with election equipment companies and say that this company you know, would have met its numbers and would have done hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, except it got crapped on by Fox News in a defamatory way. And as a result, it is almost out of business. And therefore, that is the damages, both backward looking and forward looking, that the jury should award. That's where we are. Now, we know what Fox News is going to do. They're going to try to take another appeal to the highest court, and that's where it stops, at the Court of Appeals. Now, people talk about justice moving fast or slow. Let me just put this in perspective. Now, this is a civil case, not a criminal case. And civil cases in New York go really slow. It's not unusual for a case to end up in trial five years, eight years, 10 years or more after it's filed, for sure. Here, this is going relatively quickly for for the New York court system. The case was filed in February of 2021. And the appeal with the full briefing of both sides, the let you know, the um the legal arguments in writing that are submitted to the court, that's been going on since March um, of last year. So it's, it's 11 months to get this ruling. And now we got to start the discovery process, the exchange of information and documents, the deposition, sworn testimony under oath to get the case ready for trial. Then you pick a jury and the like. So at the rate this is going, I still don't think there's there's not going to be a trial in 2023. There may be a trial at the tail end of 2024, maybe 2025, Um, but there's a lot of work to be done. We're just in what's called the pleading stage, which is we're still fighting over the complaint, the first document filed by Smartmatic to put the world on notice of the claims it has against Fox News and others. We're we're just there. And it's going to be delayed again for another six months if there's an appeal taken up to the Court of Appeals and the case is going to have to sort of, you know, stay likely in um, in a standstill position until the Court of Appeals rules. So I, I think it's a late 2024, 2025 case at best. But another loss for Fox News today. They already lost recently with Dominion Voting Systems, and they're going to trial in that one in April. And that's a two. That's a 1.6 billion dollar case. Um, and we'll keep an eye on that. And um, this is how we do it on Legal AF. I co-anchor a podcast. It sits at the intersection of law and politics, one of the top podcasts, on Wednesdays and Saturdays on the Midas Touch Network. And I do these hot takes to keep you up to date with facts and analysis as things happen in real time during the week. And if you like them, you can follow me also on social media at MS Popak and catch us on Legal AF. This is Michael Popak reporting. Our blue wall stopped the red wave and election deniers got denied election. That's why we're celebrating with the new Democracy Prevails team. We've got lots of work to do, but we should all be proud that when democracy was tested, democracy prevailed. You've earned this. Don't wait. Get yours right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.